All right, guys, we're back with proof positive the climb works because there's Molly. Anyway, I'm just going to do this bulldog really quick. And I want you guys to understand if you can get this stuff going, you're going to be able to maintain. I don't know when the last time I trained this dog was, but he stayed in bed this morning instead of going outside. So I said, I'll just we'll do a transition quick drill before I put you out because that's how you've got to think of training. How, how animated and excited can I condense this training? <laughs> I don't know what else to say to people. You can't. There's a certain point where the dog just is not even engaged and it's, it's not even learning anything. So you might as well just stop. Because you said, if you said, well, how, well, what, how long did it take you to get this behavior, which is reasonably permanent in this dog, and I would say very working every single day for a month but with the very very short sessions and keeping the whole thing so it, with these dogs the excitement and that's where people go wrong and Melissa I want you to know I was so disappointed when I talked to you last night. if somebody tells me something is the way to get better I don't slowly ease into it because I can't stop myself. Well, maybe I do. I don't know. But if, if I really wanted to be better, where are all the young guns that say, tell me, show me, that's the work I want. Not, well, I'm doing better. I, I still can't stop touching the dog, but I'm getting better. <sighs> Anyway, I've got Greg's cold collar on him. I don't even have it on. Okay. So, the reason this behavior has permanence in the dog is because it does think it's its idea. So, I can do the call. I can use collar to them. I can move them in my direction. I can make them go down. I did my little turn and it linked it up with that sequence and so it did it. So anyway, let's just see if you can do this basket drum. Excitement has got to be contained within the handler. If you want this dog to come into the inner concentric circle, if you're going to reach out of the inner concentric circle, you might not get this kind of deliver. If you said, oh, please, the bull terriers that deliver a dime a dozen, I'd say they are, then maybe I'm not as good as I think because it took me a month. It took me a month. Oh, just to get him to pick up a scrunchie. And then I invented something called the scrunch bell. Well, I'm sure you can figure out what that thing was. <laughs> and then I just used the scrunch bell. You know, but I mean, if you're honestly gonna look at that and say whatever this woman did was clearly ineffective, I'm not even sure myself. He's such a rotten little dog. I mean, he's, he's always looking for detonators in the environment is what he's doing. And if you said, what's the detonator to him? Something moving really, really fast. It, it just detonates him. And he's, he's conscious of that detonation. And he's seeking the detonation. He needs the fast movement. It's hard to understand. But their reaction point is more subclinical than other dogs. You know, if you said he's suddenly going to start going, boo, no, he's not going to do anything like that. He's just mostly going to just stand there just like that. You know, he's kind of like Angus. I mean, this is how these bulldogs are. 
that's why they have the, the thing on the Mack truck is a bulldog that's standing there like that. That's what they do. I'll shorten up the drill though and I'll just do it with one. but that's you know I've only developed a shaped retrieve in the last couple of years before that I always did a trained retrieve and if you said what's the difference between this and a the labor it's a trained retrieve is much 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 more labor intensive so you're probably better to do it this way if there's a way to get it this way and then somehow step in at sort of a middle point and start making it the trained that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to transition. I'm trying to be able to do a quick transition from a, sha a shaped to a trained. I know people don't understand that. And if you said what really would be the difference. With the trained, that's, it's the velocity. You see how I can send those labs and I can send that Doberman. You know, and they're, I don't, I don't have that ability with this. Dog. All right, guys, let me go. I'm going to run through a bunch of deaf dog episodes and stuff because I got some new deaf dog fans. But the, I mean, two things can be made. One, the dog is defaulting to staying on that platform. If you said, what would it be doing if it wasn't doing that? Oh, I don't know. It could be doing anything. You know, just the fact that we're able to arrange this is, you know, and if you said, how much do you have to reinforce it? Not much. <laughs> How should you reinforce it like this? So, I don't know. Go, Mike, please go scour YouTube, see if there's any other Bull Terriers. See if there's any Obedience Trial Champion Bull Terriers. If not, I may sell the kennel and go on the road with bricks. I'll convert the van sort of into sort of a hipster sort of, you know, I'll, I'll go on tour with Lucero. Not actually with them, but just following the tour bus in the van with my bulldog. <laughs> Chelsea's like, what? I want to go. <laughs> I'll you guys be right back.